Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about this article up here. It's on Grant Cardone talking about Nancy Pelosi and that she cannot amass that amount of wealth based off of her salary. This was a uh, podcast, I believe, with Mike Tyson. But we've done similar videos on this as to how people's net worth compares to their wealth. Now, obviously, $179,000 is pretty far off. Um, but the statement that you cannot be a millionaire off of that amount of money, um, I disagree with. Yeah, it's... I mean, of course, clickbait is always, and that's what the news media used. This was an article off of Yahoo Finance. And the title say, Grant Cardone calls out Nancy Pelosi. And then they quote Grant Cardone saying, if you make $197,000 a year, you will never be a millionaire. And certainly not worth $120 million. Um, Newsflash. There was no time in my life that I worked at a job and I made hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars in a year never never and i still was able to mass a million actually multiples of millions making less than that so just the narrative off the clickbait and i know that's what they did is use it as clickbait and people have a delineate a delineation of what's a millionaire um People think a millionaire is somebody who makes a million dollars a year. No, a millionaire is somebody who assets minus liabilities equals out to a million dollars. So just off the title itself, no, she cannot be a millionaire if you say saying make a million dollars a year. I mean, actually, she could if she invested the 179 and then she just bought assets and then it makes a million dollars a year. So all in all, the title was just totally wrong. Um, could you make 100? Could you make 100 and Twenty million dollars per year off one hundred seventy nine million dollars. I mean, one hundred seventy nine thousand dollar a year income. Uh, it's a stretch. It's a stretch, but I'm not gonna say it's impossible. But of course, they try to a quote Grant Cardone. And if he said it, I didn't listen to the podcast. If he said it, he said it, and I'll say it again. I disagree with it, and he is one hundred percent incorrect. One hundred percent correct. But I think the genesis of the interview itself. The interview of itself was trying to talk about the corruption that is in the political space in the United States. What they're talking about is Nancy Pelosi. She's been in Congress for damn near all her life. And she's amassed $120 million of wealth. What they don't mention usually is her husband is part of a hedge fund. And what they think is Nancy Pelosi, uh, vote on bills and pass bills and front run stocks that will benefit from the bills that the Congress will pass or she know that will pass. And that's the, the big crux of the, the article. The headline itself is 100% wrong, but it'll get people to click, get the ignorance to click because ignorant people don't know what a millionaire is. But is there true and is there a probability that Nancy Pelosi is front running stocks and then passing bills in Congress that will benefit said stocks? Absolutely. I mean, until Barack Obama banned, banned insider trading from Congress in 2016 or 2000, I think it's 2016, he banned insider trading from Congress. Before that, Congress, people in Congress was literally buying the stocks that they knew that bills was about to pass that benefit the stock. So could is it probable that Nancy Pelosi is talking to her hedge fund uh, husband saying, hey, these bills are about to come across and these, these, uh, these bills are about to come across fine stocks that will benefit uh, for these bills getting passed. 100 damn percent she is. And that's what I believe the crux of the argument is. But the title itself is BS. I mean, so on insider trading, does that is that still illegal as well to tell your spouse if you are a politician, but you have the insider knowledge? Are you allowed to tell your spouse or is is that law against uh, that form of trading as well. Well, it's not it's not insider trading because she's not inside the company. Insider trading is this, just like it's another article out there about two couples that was working from home. They was working from home, and the husband overheard a conference call from his wife from a big company and knew that they was about to get bought out by another company. The husband secretly went and bought the company, their company that was about to get bought out. 
And then when a, when the other company bought them out, he made a windfall of money. The wife, of course, the wife ended up getting fired. And then the wife, and then they end up getting a divorce. That's insider trading, insider business about a company. What Nancy Pelosi knows is what bills are about to get passed. And then like, hey, okay, this energy bill about to get passed. Her husband is saying, okay, well, if this energy bill is about to get passed, X, Y, and Z company will benefit from it. Let me go to the best company and put a lot of money in it. He don't have, he don't have the insider knowledge of the company's financials, what the company is about to do. That's political knowledge, not insider knowledge of the company. Insider trading means you have information that's inside the company that is not public to everybody else, and you're trading off that information. So, technically, is it wrong? Morally, yeah, but you play to win a game. Right. However, they do it. That's how they do it. But if you don't think politicians are corrupt, you out of your out of your mind. In this article, they quote Grant Cardone saying, "If you do the math, most people just don't do the math." She would have to have to be in the Senate for 3,367 years to make that kind of money at her salary. That's what Grant Cardone said. Grant Cardone highlights the common critiques. A government salary simply cannot justify such wealth. Which is true. The salary itself cannot justify the $120 million of wealth. Ish. Ish. Now... Understand, see, this is where I see the hypocrisy in the whole article. Grant Cardone ain't never told anyone, anyone in their lifetime, that he worked at a job and made $200,000 a year, $150,000 a year. So, Grant Cardone, he had a sale job. Let's say Grant Cardone made $150,000. Let's say he made $200,000 a year in a sale job. He parlayed that sales job. When he started, he started investing when he was 40, 45 or something like that, 50. Grant Cardone was probably 59, 60 or something like that. Whenever he started investing, no matter what. He's quote unquote a billionaire. So if he can get to a billionaire starting at 40, and let's say he's at 60 now in 20 years, how can somebody that's been making $180,000 since they were probably like 25 years old. Now they're 80. Why can't they make $120 million? I mean, that's, you see what I'm saying about the hypocrisy of it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. You can do it. He can do it, but they can't. He can do it, but they can't. But, and then, but the thing is, is, but I understand what he's trying to grasp. And maybe this was a bad article uh, from the, from the author. Uh, but he said much less $120 million. But again, he's a billionaire. And trust me, Nancy Pelosi was making making more money at her W-2 job than Grant Cardone ever made at a W-2 job. So if he can do it, why can't somebody else? Uh, and then Tyson chimed in, suggesting that being in the government might be the cheat code when it comes to accumulating wealth. That is the key point of it. Being in the government is a cheat code. They know where the government is going to spend the money, what sectors. Only thing that has to happen from there is delineate, okay, these are the sectors the government is going to pump a lot of money in, especially in defense. So I bet you if you pull up Nancy Pelosi's portfolio, and now they even have investing platforms that mimic the investments that people in Congress make. But if you pull up Nancy Pelosi's uh, portfolio, there is a lot of allocation towards defense contracting because we spend almost a trillion dollars a year just in defense funding. And he and then it says in here, Grant Cardone agreed, implying that some politicians may be benefiting benefiting from undisclosed financial opportunities. You don't need you don't need to know undisclosed financial statements of a Halliburton, un, undisclosed financial uh, element of all the government contractors. Only thing you need to know is whatever the government is pumping trillions of dollars into, the sector is going to benefit. So you don't even know some high-end thing. It's just she knows where the where the bills are going to be passed. So me, I'm just thinking if, if it was me, you know, uh, somebody told me a long time, girl, we could end world hunger if we put ourselves in, in somebody else's shoes. 
I'm just thinking of if it's me. I'm a politician. It's not it's not illegal for me to know to say, hey, this bill is about to be passed. I would be stupid not to have somebody else playing on the other side saying, okay, invest in there. If it's not illegal. Now, more again, morally, is it wrong from the public's perspective? Yeah. But every everybody, everybody's a, a moral police until it comes to them. But that's what they that's that's what's going on. So, but Grant Cardone's words of saying that you can't be a millionaire making one hundred seventy nine thousand dollars a year is absolutely asinine and insane and crazy. Yeah, I think coming from Grant Cardone, it's it's ridiculous because he himself, like you said, knows that that's not what net worth is. Your net worth isn't how much money you make and how much you how much cash you have on hand. That's not what makes your net worth. So he literally just divided her net worth by her salary and said, oh, that's how long she would have to work. But that's not how things work. And he knows that himself because he especially invests in real estate. He knows how appreciation works. He knows how assets work. So for him to make that comment, I think it's just ridiculous. I mean, like you said, the only thing that would make sense in that situation is it being clickbait because he knows better than that. So I, I have no idea why he would say things like that. And and you know how how the media, social media and everything goes is is clickbait to grow, grow attention. And I mean, I think that the main part of the main part of the conversation just based off the article is not the fact that Grant Cardone said it. I mean, of course, it might get views because Grant Cardone said it. The mo the thing, the biggest takeaway from the article for me is what Mike Tyson said. Suggesting being in government might be the cheat code to accumulating wealth. Matter of fact, it is the cheat code to accumulating wealth. Let's not kid ourselves here. People, I mean, let's use for instance, Donald Trump, uh, Bloomberg. These people are multi-million and multi-billionaires. They're leaving their status in that realm to go and work for the people for hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have to stop their investments. They have to stop all the things that they're doing because they want to work in the public sector to help the people. I mean, everybody can say, oh, they're doing it out the goodness of their heart. No, it's something on the back end. It is something on the back end. I mean, for the life of me, I mean, people, every time I say this, they say I'm the reincarnation of the devil, but I'm just taking the words from Michelle Obama. She said in a minute, before we got to the White House, we was on the verge of bankruptcy. So a president, for people that don't know, a president makes 400, a little over $400,000 a year. They still have to pay for their meals and stuff like that. After eight years, and then, Alex, you can do the math. 400,000 times eight years is what's the total on that? 3,200,000. 3,200,000. That's before taxes. That's before expenses. That's before everything else. So that's how much he made and gross salary in that eight years. When Barack Obama left president, he was taking vacations that only billionaires could take. Not millionaires could take, billionaires can take. So it's something to what Mike Tyson said that working in government is a cheat code because, of course, they send out money wherever. They don't give a damn where money goes. And they can front run every decision that the government makes because, of course, you know it takes you know, damn near a decade to get anything passed in Congress. But that's that's the biggest takeaway from an article for me, is that she called us to work in the government to front run to find out where the government is spending money because the United States government is spending more money than the top 20 countries combined. That's how they're making the money. So that's what people need to look at, not Grant Cardone saying, oh, if you make $179,000 a year, so what do that do to the person that only make thirty thousand dollars a year? I made my I had a hundred thousand dollars net worth and I before I made a thirty thousand dollars a year. So that that's clickbaitish, and I think that 
it really is not even a major point in the whole interview article that was presented. So that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Uh, let us know your opinions and thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.